diesel fuels the economy, and that is not a stretch. The fleets of buses, trucks, and lorries that transport goods to every nook and cranny of this country run on diesel. In Malaysia, diesel is cheap, and a key reason for this is government subsidies. A liter of diesel actually costs 3 ringgit 75 sen, but thanks to subsidies, the retail price is set at 2 ringgit 15 sen per liter. This translates to a hefty 1.5 billion ringgit diesel subsidy bill in total. That's a lot of money. Now subsidies themselves are not a bad thing, especially for those who need them the most. The problem is that blanket subsidies tend to benefit the rich more than the poor. There's also the problem of smuggling, as diesel in Malaysia is cheaper compared to other countries in the region. This is why the government is looking to rationalize subsidies. Bagi mengelakkan keterisian dan penyelurupan, kerajaan berhasrat untuk merasionalisasikan subsidi diesel secara berfasa. Harga diesel bersubsidi akan terus dinikmati oleh pengguna terpilih seperti syarikat pengangkutan barangan. Pengguna lain akan dikenakan harga yang lebih tinggi. And industry players agree with the move, but hope any increase in diesel prices will be incremental for those who no longer qualify for subsidies. We want gradual increase, not immediate increase because of inflationary pressure, because we as dealers need to be given time to actually build our capital to potentially buy more and more expensive diesel. So what's the best way to go about it? Um, we believe that a gradual increase in price should be done uh, potentially on a monthly basis, maybe a maximum of 10 cent per litre every time we increase. Association of Malaysian Hauliers President Su Chi Yong is happy that, for now, the logistics industry will still be subsidized. He says it will allow transporters to maintain their costs. Danish Rajareza and Amira Huda, FMT News.